Hello friends, today we are going to study in our topic carbon compounds that the IUPAC nomenclature of organic compounds. What is the full form of IUPAC? IUPAC means International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. Now this is the that the branch related to the study in the chemistry who nomenclate the organic compounds. How we can give the name, scientific name, IUPAC name to the organic compound? Every organic compound is having two names, common name and IUPAC name. There is no systematicness in the common name because common name is given from its source or the name of scientist or any another than the criteria. So there is no systematicness in the nomenclature by common system. But the IUPAC system is standard and worldwide it is used to nomenclate the organic compounds. So in the IUPAC nomenclature, to understand the IUPAC nomenclature, the rules for writing the IUPAC name, we have to first of all take the one simple example. Because our IUPAC name always consists of prefix parent and suffix in the name of organic compound. Every organic compound is having the that parent name. It may have prefix or not also, but parent name is compulsory and it is also having the suffix also. So the IUPAC name of this organic compound, see now, the first rule, select the longest continuous carbon chain. How many carbon chains? One. 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. It means there are 3 carbon chains, but select the longest continuous carbon chain containing functional group. So, first, second, third carbon, fourth carbon. Now, this is the longest carbon chain. And I have preferred the first number to the carbon atom to which functional group is attached. So, the numbering is given in such a way that the functional group containing carbon should have the lowest positional number. And this is the here 1. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. How many carbon atoms in our selected longest carbon chain? 4. So, the parent name is now due to the four carbon atoms, but. So, I allot the but as the parent name. From what the criteria? Number of carbon atoms in the longest chain. As our longest chain consists of four carbon atoms, the parent name is but. Now, see the another criteria, suffix. Suffix as all carbons are having single bonds in this compound. Therefore, carbon-carbon single bond means primary suffix is A, N, E. So, this is parent name. This is now the suffix we have started. But suffix is of two types. Primary suffix and secondary suffix. The primary suffix is a and E, it indicates the actually bonding in the that longest chain. So, bonding that is a single bond, therefore, the A and E is primary suffix. Now, replace this E. How E is replaced by the secondary suffix? And secondary suffix is given from the functional group. Now, first of all, identify the functional group. Functional group is here OH. We have defined the functional group, an atom or a group of atom that determine the chemical properties of that organic compound is called as functional group. There is a group of atom that is OH is the functional group in the that carbon chain and therefore here it is the that secondary suffix is OL. So E is replaced by OL. We have replaced the E now OL. But what is its positional number 1? So 1 OL, butane 1 OL. 
so butane one ol or butanol we have to represent the position of oh also because it is possible that the oh may be attached to second carbon oh may be attached to the third carbon whatever it may be the possibilities in the selected long h chain so represent the positional number of oh now what is about the prefix the prefix in this compound is the small chain or side chain prefix represent the side chain prefix represent the any substituent which is come in the place of hydrogen it may be another group but it is not main functional group it is subsidiary functional group and subsidiary functional group it may be prefix like this alkyl group that methyl ethyl propyl n butyl iso that the butyl or pentyl n pentyl iso pentyl neo pentyl chloro bromo iodo means halo alkoxy in the ester nomenclature alkoxy is the prefix and therefore like this prefix is given so here prefix is a ch3 group it is called as the methyl and what is the positional number of methyl 2 methyl so methyl group is attached to the second carbon so remember letter and the letter and the number separated by dash two letters separated by space letter and number separated by dash here it is also dash in this way according to the rules of iopc nomenclature we have given the name two methyl butane one all so our that the name of organic compound consist of the basic format prefix prefix is two methyl parent but suffix this an as well as ol so the prefix plus parent plus suffix is the basic format of iopac nomenclature see again this is the prefix this is the parent name given from the number of carbon atom in selected chain this is the primary suffix that indicate the bonding and the secondary suffix indicate the functional group so c this is butanol or butane one or so alkanol so alcohols they are nomenclated as alkanol aldehydes alkanal ketones alkanone carboxylic acids alkanoic acid then the esters alkanoate and amines alkana amines there are many functional groups but regarding to our 10th standard this is a basic that part to understand the secondary suffix according to functional group and so functional group is given as the main suffix or secondary suffix now take one example on this iopc nomenclature at the first very simple example ch3 ch2 cl now see in this compound this is the 1 and 2 how many carbon atoms two carbon atoms and this is the one chloro or simply chloro because chlorine bromine iodine they are always taken as the prefix and so one chloro ethane why ethane because two carbon atoms two carbon atoms represents it and here A and E, A and E represents. There are only single bonds. Take another example, CH three single bond CH double bond CH two, or take the another here again substituent as CH three. This is isobutylene numbering one two three. So this is two methyl. What is its IUPAC name? Two methyl. pro pro one e represent the bonding as so here this is the here nomenclature take third example ch3 o c double bond o ch3 this is ester now because the functional group in the ester is this how now nomenclated now this is the o so take the methyl group attached to the o as the substituent and numbering 1 2 so it it is the 
that the parent name and here the name of ester ethane because here carbon carbon single bond and the here e is replaced by o a t e o a so methyl ethanoate is the name of this ester take the another example here fourth example ch3 ch nh2 ch3 one two three carbon atoms so the what is the name of here now the parent three carbon atoms means propane so prop is the here single bonds so propane e is replaced by then amine so propanamine is the iupac name of this organic compound here related to this take the example of ketones in the fifth example see the ketones ch3 c double bond o ch3 1 2 3 so three carbon atoms means pro carbon carbon single bonds so a n e e replaced by o n e so propanone butanone pentanone homologous series is formed here and in this way the ketones are nomenclated alcohol aldehyde take the example of aldehyde then aldehyde ch3 ch4 numbering 1 2 2 carbon atoms so it m and the here last e is replaced by al ethanol methanol is also there formaldehyde methanol ethanol propanol butanol alcohol methanol propanol methanol ethanol propanol butanol pentanol aldehyde methanol ethanol propanol butanol amines methanamine ethanamine propanamine in this way we can nomenclate the organic compounds in acid also carboxylic acids formic acid that is methanoic acid ethanoic acid take the example of here the eighth example ch3 ch2 ch2 cooh numbering starts from this and the longest chain is consisting here in this way and therefore this is the but butane e is replaced by oic acid this is butane oic acid or butyric so friends this is the simple way to nomenclate the organic compounds there are many examples to solve so i will give you the exercise thanks for listening the today's lecture on the iupac nomenclature